Hey everybody, my name is Chase Pipes and you're watching Chasing History, brought to you by American Digger Magazine and Smoky Mountain Relic Room, and we are that back <laughs> off out on a perilous adventure. <laughs> We've been through canyons, over plural canyons, over mountains, all over the place. We're traveling the west trying to tell the story of prehistoric Native America. And one of the things that's really amazing that you can come out here and still see is, is intact granaries that are prehistoric. Ty, what do we got here on the side of this cliff? What we have is this is an old, this is old Indian granary. You know, 1,200, 2,000 years ago, the overhang would have been a little bit more sheltered. These would have been intact, completely round. They would have had a cap and they would have been rodent proof and watertight. So down here in the meadow, yeah, if you look out, this little flat down here, it was a little bit wider environment back then. They would have been growing their corn right here and they would have been storing it here to keep it safe through the winter. Okay, that makes sense. So their primary diet was was corn. Well, that was they were they were some of the first agricultural in America. Okay. They were uh, growing corn and they also did, you know, they also did some hunter-gatherer style living as well. They, some, some groups would just plant corn and they'd disappear for six months, come back in the fall, harvest it, and then spend the winter here. Right. Some would stay and tend all year long. It just depended on which group and where they were at. Now you're talking about the environment. What was the environment like here? It was a little bit wetter. It was, okay. a, little, it was a little bit wetter. About 12, 1400 years ago, a drought in the whole southwest started. That's when the Anasazi and all those Pueblo Indians, all that, all moved south. They all disappeared out of nor northern Arizona, Utah and stuff. They all vanished. They all moved farther south from what we think. Okay, that makes sense. So, But what's amazing is, is there are still places in North America that you can go to and see these intact granaries. And it is mind-blowing to see the stacked rocks and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, there's bone, there's sticks. What else is going on? So what happened here, it, it, like back here in the corner, you can see a little bit of it. That's called pack rat mid middens. Okay. So a pack rat will bring in plants and organics and shiny rocks and bones to make its nest, a lot of cactuses, things like that. And the reason this rock's all red is at some point a wildfire came through out here and caught that pack rat bins on fire and it actually is what kind of destroyed, destroyed this, this side a little yeah. bit, yes. That's why the rock That's is That's why just the rock's red, why it's all, all blasted here. But one of the important things about this side is, is you can still see these sticks that are buried in the mud that they made this last granary out of. Oh, cool, yeah, so yeah, yeah. One of the neat things about those sticks is they have a pretty good record where they've gone through and done core sampling of trees and then old trees and they can they can core date these, they can take the core and they can match them up because uh, dry year is a shout, is, yeah. a, is a snail band, a wet year is a wide band and they can match that up to the record and date that exactly when that branch was cut and put in that spot. That's awesome. Yeah, that's dendrochronology and that's okay. a huge that's a huge aspect of science that yeah. which is why it's so important, you know, that when you come across these things, yeah. you don't dig into them, you don't yeah, mess with them, them, you as, just leave as them as there is so that other people it's even, like to, even just climbing around on this one. This one's pretty delicate. That's why we're down yeah, here off we're this down ledge here. where it's already everything's all blown off. You walk up here, it'd be really easy, one or two steps to knock those branches out, they're gone and nobody would be able to take care yeah. of that. And I mean, and it's our job to ensure that this stuff keeps telling its story through time, you know, which is why we're sharing this with you, which is why we're leaving it as it is. Because I mean, it was a, it was a hell of a hike to get up here. I mean, you know, we're talking, <laughs> I, you, oh, you can't see, but we, uh, we're about six miles through several canyons and several mountain ranges to get back to this granary to show you guys this. Because there's not a lot of places, you know. Unfortunately, you know, so many people, you know, on areas where it's closer to the roads, you know, people want to dig into them and they want to tear them out and they want to find what's there. Pick up, a, pick up a souvenir. Pick up a souvenir. You know, just, even just letting kids play around on them and stuff. And I mean, I don't know how many of them I've seen where people have scratched their names and, and yeah. they they just don't even pay attention. Don't even realize what they're doing. Yeah. Don't even realize what sort of history they're destroying or, or altering by damaging it. Yeah, and it's so important that we leave this intact so that future generations can come and study because this is what identifies this site. You know, this was a site out back behind us and this is the marker that identifies it. And if science needs to come in to learn something, you know, this is, you know, a great area where science can come in to learn something. But this is just, this is incredible. So, I mean, the pack rat middens are, are, are another part of the story. And this is just, God, this is cool, dude. I mean, this is evidence. This is right here. You know, 
2,000 years ago, there were prehistoric Native Americans who their entire winter survival was right here in this spot. You know, and I mean, it took us several miles to get here, and it's going to take us several miles to get out. But <laughs> man, thanks for thanks for showing oh, no us. Worries. Appreciate it, guys. Be sure to like and to subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video. Throw on some comments, you know, and we'll respond to you. And remember, get out there and chase your own history. So, Ty, thanks for having yep. us, man. History rocks! Woohoo!